You know those cheap Windows keys? Like the ones from keysfan.com? Where do they come from? How did I get them? And how are they so cheap? That's what we're going to look at and find out today. Thanks to keysfan.com for sponsoring this video. You can get up to 50% off a Windows license using code BZ50 or 62% off Microsoft Office linked in the description. They also offer a easy PayPal checkout for secure payment and have pretty good customer service. So check them out, linked in the pinned comment and in the description. Let's make a distinction between most cheap Windows keys and the normal retail ones you buy. The cheap Windows keys are OEM, meaning that they are tied to the hardware of your computer and can't be moved to another device. Whereas the retail key can be moved, but are super expensive. That's why there is a difference at the surface level for pricing. So then, where do cheap Windows keys actually come from? There are a couple of different routes. Let's have a look at them. The first way is through OEM channels. These are usually either from system builders or from people who buy Windows licenses in bulk. Sometimes these keys end up on sites like keysfan.com. I had also asked keysfan directly and they assured me that their keys are OEM but couldn't comment further on where they actually came from. But at the same time, it's good that they have a secure payment method through PayPal and have good customer support if anything goes wrong. Second way is through volume licensing, similar to the first one. Instead, generally, companies or schools use these keys and can come into the public domain. The third way could be through developer and tester programs. Subscribers to developer programs can receive Windows keys for usage during development of software. The fourth way is through regional pricing differences and secondhand retail. Some prices can differ by region, so some sellers buy in cheaper regions and then resell this later globally. You can pick up some perpetual licenses in some places as well if the original owner is not using them anymore. So it's kind of hard to figure out where these keys actually come from, but that's kind of what I found out in terms of where the keys come from. What I am sure of though is that keysfan.com has great customer support and the fact that you can pay via PayPal makes things feel more secure. Previously, I bought a Windows key from keysfan.com with my own money to test it. I used code BEZ50 at the time during checkout for 50% off the Windows 11 license. I paid via PayPal, received the code in my email quickly, and it activated instantly. No fuss, no problems. I had also tested their customer support and they replied quickly. So if something does go wrong, I know that they're actually going to help. Right now, my code BEZ50 gets you 50% off Windows and BEZ62 gets you 62% off Microsoft Office. They also have bundles with Microsoft Office and Windows together if you'd like. And if you buy two Windows keys, it's slightly less. How do you check where your Windows key is from as well if it's OEM or retail. So you wanna head over to the Windows icon in the bottom left hand corner, type in CMD, then you wanna type in the command slmgr.vbs slash dlv. Then you'll be able to see where your Windows key comes from. As you can see, the one that I have previously purchased from Keyspan is actually an OEM key, not a retail key. So we can see that it says OEM underscore DM, which means OEM digital marker key, meaning that this key did not ship with my hardware as we already know, which is what we're meant to see with these cheap OEM Windows keys. So we know that they're cheap, but they're also tied to one machine as we saw, and they are not transferable. Now for some quick question and answers. Is this legal? Well, keys fan have let me know that these keys are legal. However, it is most likely a gray area. The reality is that these keys come from real channels and Keysfan have also let me know 
that these keys are actual OEM keys, but couldn't comment further on where they came from. The truth as well is that Microsoft allows this to continue to happen, so I guess it still is a bit of a gray area. But if you want a good price, it is a really good option for a cheap Windows key, especially from someone like keysfan.com. Will my key get deactivated later? In my previous video about Keyspan, I had checked if the Windows key I had was still activated two months later. And yes, of course it was. If your system parts stay mostly the same, most OEM keys will keep working. Just keep in mind a big change like a motherboard or CPU change can make the license deactivate. But if there are any issues, don't hesitate to reach out to Keysfan, they are pretty responsive. Do you get normal Windows updates? Definitely a valid question, and yes, once activated, it's like activating Windows from anywhere else. Security and feature updates are normal, and most importantly, no watermark. Can I move the license to my next build? Maybe. It really depends on what you're upgrading. For example, a big upgrade like a motherboard change will probably most likely end up in your license deactivating, but it is depending on what changes and I've seen cases where it still stays active with major changes like a motherboard swap, for example. So that's all I have for the question and answers. Quick thanks to Keysfan for supporting the channel. If you want to try them, use code BEZ50 for Windows and code BEZ62 for Microsoft Office. Links are in the description, you can pay with PayPal, keep your invoice and verify activation as soon as the email arrives. That's the clean way to do it. Tell me your experience in the comments. Have you used Keysfan or another Keys website? Did the activation manage to stay activated for the long term? And I read most comments and it helps others decide. So let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are. That about sums up the video. Thank you again to Keysfan for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.